Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum and welcome to my channel. Today we would be working on how to implement, uh, how to do uh, assembly language coding on AVR2 on Atmel. And uh, we would be forming simple, ta simple uh, tasks that I would be explaining uh, them and how to perform there. Uh, and they're working as well. So uh, let's get started with it. Uh, so today our coding our tasks would be included and um, from following sequence, and I'll be explaining these following sequences. Uh, so, so sorry, my uh, laptop is a bit high. So first of all, what our task was that we have to send zero cross uh, zero to F value to port B. This is a very simple task, and we could be doing it with uh, with using here uh, using hex hex as well as simply uh, doing it as well. So uh, let's get started with it, and I would be explaining the code and whatever it's in it. Uh, This, these are the tasks that we would be doing in this lab. Sorry for the inconvenience. Uh, actually, again and again, opening it up and start sharing it would be a very difficult task because these are a bunch of tasks that I would be explaining and uh, explaining and they would be a little hurt. Okay, so first one is zero to FF. So first of all, we had declared the DDRB value as zero cross FF and to the point A, point B value as A zero cross AA. So first, this means, uh, the first line means that we have declared as an output. And the second line means that we have declared, uh, it's, uh, we have stored a value of zero cross AA in it. And now uh, what we would be doing, uh, uh, doing again after it would be that, uh, okay. Okay, I was back. This was toggling function one, and I had to explain you that how will we have to do. Please give me a minute. Oh, here's my code. Sorry for the inconvenience. So first we have to initialize the character Z by the character Z and we have stored a DDRB. Uh, we have given it uh, the, the direction of port B as an output port as we have declared a zero cross FF. And uh, why we do it, I've already explained in my previous video. Uh, you are solving it with assembly language and this call and the same, the same of the uh, same of uh, a reason would be implemented over here as well. Then I have uh, used a for loop in which uh, I've characterized Z as Z and uh, character Z that I had already in, uh, initialized before. I have used uh, it as a, it starts from zero and then it goes to 255. That's the highest value of that. That is zero cross. Uh, and then uh, it, as soon as every three port, it would be incre incremented. Uh, now the next, uh, the next part would be uh, that uh, the port V uh, is equal to Z. And that means uh, that whatever the value or that is stored in Z, that is zero to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, as soon as added, as it would be going from for loop, it would be uh, displayed in a uh, board B. Then I have declared a delay function. You can add the delay function by using this uh, command, uh, by using this command and uh, its header file is include on util uh, slash the de de delay dot h. But first of all, uh, to declare this and to, to, uh, to make it implementing correctly, you have to use uh, the define f uh, underscore c, then uh, that's uh, its speed value, uh, the CPU speed value that is 16 minus 16 uh, zero 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 eight zeros you will. Uh, so after that we have to use the while loop that this is the syntax for it and uh, why we had used a 10 with the de uh, delay MS uh, is that this is the amount of delay for, for it. it is 10 milliseconds 10 microseconds. 
then it is returns a uh, return option and this would be working all like this uh, uh first uh, the delay is really uh, really small that's why it's working a little slower uh but if you include uh include higher de delay it would be implemented more uh, more uh, uh, more slowly and you can be able to see the change now let's see the with hardware how it works as in the hardware i've already told you the delay was it is really small, but if you increase the delay, you can also see that, that how it is working from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. The entities are blinking very much. You can, as you can see in the hardware, is due to this reason that uh, the, the, uh, this is going very fastly and uh, it is not able to show you the changes. Now the next uh, code is, uh, now we would be converting the values of ASCII values and um, we would be forming it as well. So next was the ASCII value task and the what would have be happening. Look over here and I've, uh, I've uh, given the same command that I had uh, I had shown on the pro using LEDs. I've shown it using uh, hex value and you can see over here then hex is just showing easily that what is happening. Then the next part was ASCII values. So this is our code. First of all, we have created my list in which I have stored zero to uh, D all the values. And then I have uh, initialized a character Z uh, that is unsigned. So what unsigned means is that uh, that we have it start from zero to uh, positive FF uh, and um, it all can also have a negative uh, values. Then uh, DDRB is zero cross the zero zero. This means that uh, that uh, board D is a board B is given the direction of output. Then I've created a for loop that are similar to uh, the out uh, the uh, for loop I've created in the example two, uh, example one, and uh, but, but this one uh, goes from ten. You can also convert it to fourteen, and this um, will then be performing the function. Uh, the performing the function, uh, but uh, whatever the value of z would be, it would be in a, it will be taking the uh, that for number a uh, uh, number of array uh, name element in the uh, array. So we have declared it port d is equal to my list z. So if uh, my list zero would be called, it would be called zero. The my list one, my list one, one, two, three, four, and that's how so on. It would be working on. Then I've created a delay of ten seconds, ten milliseconds. And I've already told you how to create, how to add it. And you can see over here, this code was working absolutely fine. And uh, it was also for create showing that one, two, three, four, five, six. And you can also see, see it in the hex value over here. Then after that, uh, uh, the next task, uh, now let's see it in the hardware section and how it implements the code over there. So this is the hardware as uh, I just played on. You can see that for, uh, oh, sorry. As I play this first one, two, three, four, four, five. And this and now it is implementing it in the hex values, in ASCII values. And you can also see it's a uh, code, uh, code, uh, code working in the Proteus as well. Like how it's working with the ASCII values. This ASCII values, you can see it in the ASCII table uh, from the ASCII table and you would be able to implement. Now the next one is the same as uh, I've done in the C coding in my previous video uh, that we take uh, in the input from one port and uh, we declare it and another port. Uh, now this was a very easy task uh, and uh, Sorry, sorry. Uh, the third task was that I have to toggle uh, all the ports of port B. So uh, now toggling of the part, toggling part would be like I simply have the I explained this half of it uh, in the start of the video accidentally and uh, it's simply that first I said DDRB I've given it the output value then stored zero cross zero cross AA uh, in it and then I have used a for loop uh, that goes to 100 values and uh, in the report uh, if a uh, for loop I've added a for port a port a B uh, and in uh, in inverted its value. So this would be working from zero, uh, zero cross AA to zero cross FF. 
First, it would be showing zero a a, then it would be showing again an uh, invert of a, and then so as so, so on. Now let's see it's uh, coding in the hardware how it works in the hardware, and uh, it would it would be a very long code because um, very long structure because it would be breaking um, again and again and again. So this was the toggling function. So let's play it. So look, it's just toggling. It's two, then one, one, two, two, one, one. Then. It's go. It would be going in the same way in the Proteus as well. Yep. Okay. The next task is uh, taking a port from one and so implementing in the other. So this is a very easy task as well. So what we would be doing is that we would simply be de declaring one as the one port as the out input and other as an output, and we would be uh, uh, initializing an in temporary value, a temporary uh, character that would be unsigned, and then uh, we would be first storing the uh, pin uh, B's value in a temporary, and then uh, we would be declaring it from the port C. And simple as that could be done. Now let's see it's hardware. So it's hardware is very simple. I simply connect one port and this is my port B and this is my port C. As soon as I'm connecting, it's a, the, the which server switch is on, it would uh, converting into high or logic as well. And whichever it is off, it is converted into high off, high, low logic as well. So let's go to the our next task that is uh, that we have to examine the results of different ports. Now the this is where this is not a very complex uh, a complex one, but this is a very long one and you should be there to examine it. So uh, what uh, the code was very simple. I would be opening my Proteus file so that I would be able to show you the basic implementation uh, and the large impl implementation over there as well. Uh, uh, the first of all, unless until my software is opening, so I would be showing you over here. So, uh, what it was. So uh, the code was simply we I've declared all three ports A, B, C uh, in uh, the, uh, the output. Now I'm using a mega in it, uh, and then what would I would be doing is that. I would be implementing one one function on each port. Uh, like uh, in every port, I would be implementing a function and then I'll be showing you how to do it. So this is my uh, Proteus file and um, uh, this is how it's looked like. This is port A, port B, a port C, and port B. So I simply go over here. I'll just uh, download, enter my code. The code is always present in the documents file. You, either you your is directly stored, or it would be stored from using. Um, yeah, depends upon your. Uh, where you have saved it. I had saved it over there, that's why it's implemented. It was there. Okay, so finding it would be very lengthy task because I have a lot of codes over here. Okay, but simply you just uh, select it from here and you can just uh, implement over there. So it would be um, done. So as I'm unable to find it right now, I will simply show you the results at how it is. Uh, it would be working over here. So this would be uh, it working uh, like first in first one I've compared I've uh, compared and function of zero f uh, zero f and thirty five in port b so this was the logic and then uh, I've uh, done or uh, from in zero and uh, forty eight value then fifty uh, or XOR wraps option in uh, uh, seven fifty four and eight uh, seventy eight and after that I have implemented a in inverted function of uh, zero cross zero cross f five five this was a uh, toggle function. Then after that, uh, six, uh, now let's see how it works on, 
hardware. So this was it. Uh, it is showing you uh, the, how it is working, and uh, this is would be A, B, C, D, and this is showing the same result as it was showing in the protease. Now uh, let's go to the activities of uh, the board. Uh, this uh, the first activity of it was uh, that we have to take uh, two values in different ports and compare them. So uh, I had already said, explained to you this before, and then it is simply function and simply the two buttons would be attached from port C, B, and C that we would be comparing it. And uh, then uh, uh, if the both are, if we would write if a statement, if the both are equal, then we would uh, say that this is uh, this is the correct, uh, this, uh, the, this, uh, this, toggle would, uh, this toggle would be done, or if it is off, then this would be done. So I'll show you. So this is my code. Uh, so what I've done is that I declared one as input and other as an output. And then uh, what uh, I have done is that uh, I take a zero cross, uh, uh, I have taken uh, the, the input. Uh, if uh, it is equal to zero cross FF, uh, if, it, if it is uh, even, then what would happen that it would be uh, declaring a zero cross, uh, zero cross FF uh, five five in, um, Otherwise, if it is odd, it would be uh, implementing uh, the reverse bit. It would be the implementing one by one each of the bit. So this was the this was the outcome that was uh, that was formed in it. Uh, that uh, if I would be having it, okay, I'm not having it right now. So what happened was that uh, I have given it one input, but now another output, and this is how it was working uh, completely fine. This would uh, this was working like one, two, three, four, and you, as you can see, there's this odd value, and these both are even, so that's why it's for zero effect. Okay. Now, after that, uh, what we would be performing is that uh, we would uh, be uh, seeing it's how it works in the I've shown you the next uh, activity. The next activity was uh, the hexi bad uh, hexi bad first, but before it, uh, I would be explaining you some other. One more example that uh, that would, this would be the example of it. Now, what we would uh, be doing in this one uh, would be that we would be declaring an A as an A to be as output and C as input. So if the weapon B is zero cross as if a fifth pair board of the fifth pin of uh, C is or high, then a zero cross uh, five five would be implemented on port B. Otherwise, zero cross A eight would be implemented. As you can see over here, this is uh, the fifth bit um, of uh, it would is low. That's why zero cross A eight is implemented. But as soon as this bit is high, this zero a uh, zero uh, a five five is uh, implemented over here. Now I would be explaining you the hex key part one, um, and I'll also be showing you the hardware as well. So uh, hardware, okay. So this is uh, the this one. It was the one. So yes, here, here is the fifth bit one. So I just open it up and you can see that this first of all, I was explaining the code and I was telling you that how it works and uh, uh, it's a produce simulation is also given in it. You can see it from it. And then after this. So uh, the pin is bit is on and off, and as soon as an on and off it, you can see the difference over here. First it was uh, different, and then suddenly it was different. So this is also working over here. We simply press the button, and as soon as the button is high, the fifth bit is high, it was moving perfectly fine. And after that uh, was the hex key pad, uh, hex key uh, sorry, hex, hex yeah, I'm sorry, hex, I'm turning hex key pad. It is, um, uh, hex um, and data back. Let's see. Okay, so this was my code of very wealthy code. 
So yes. Uh, so in this, I have made uh, functions, and uh, after these functions, I have implemented them and shown how it works. So the lower bit, higher bit, uh, it's also working over here in the Proteus. Uh, actually, it's 56 minutes since I'm working on it and 15 seconds, it is working absolutely fine. And you can see that I've differentiated with different colors. This is my R's color and this like, this shows you two R's. It's been two R's since this code is working and I just left it open that okay, to analyze it, how much time I've, take, I've taken to work on a certain kind of report. And this is showing the results. Absolutely fine. I thought it is, I've taken too far long time working on it. So first of all, I declared all these quotes and as F, uh, F uh, as the output, and then I declared as lower and high bits of a minute, hours and seconds. And first, uh, the, uh, the first one that would be working would be the R. And this R1, it would be uh, two, two uh, high bit would be two, and the lower bit would uh, work to uh, four. Uh, and then, uh, then it, the, similarly, uh, the higher bit of the minutes uh, would be working till uh, six, and the lower bit also till six. And then uh, the higher bit of uh, lower bit of seconds would be working till six, and the lower bit would also be working till six. And after this, uh, the, the, if, with each one, it would be implementing the value of uh, port, uh, lower bit of uh, sec, uh, lower uh, display, lower bit. Lower bit seconds would be determined from here, but uh, what would be the display function? The display function would be having the values of all of it. If the number is equal to zero, then uh, the, uh, this would uh, this function uh, this value would be given to the uh, uh, given to the hex uh, uh, hex uh, hex. Uh, uh, seven segment uh, because seven segment has its own uh, implementation method, so that's why it would be given to this. So I hope you liked uh, I liked it.